trust me, they're still gonna buy this. this is, uh, folks, it's, uh, I'm back, Giovanni Petiti. I gotta tell you, that was a fantastic segment. Huh? Listen, I think it's a great idea for me to come out here in the community. I changed my mind. It's great to get, get some fresh air. It's beautiful. It's a little cold out here, but I'm doing this for you. I'm going the extra mile. And nothing makes you feel better on a cold day like today than a nice cup of coffee. I like to call this next segment, Let's All Go For A Coffee. Is that better? Did I pronunciate nice now? Hey, folks. Everywhere I go on the Giovanni and me on Rogers TV Nation, everybody's talking about the coffee all the time. What are you taking your coffee? You want an espresso coffee? Or my favorite, hey, everybody, let's all go for coffee. You know what I'm saying? So here I am at Personal Service Coffee. Coffee, personal service. What's the services of our personal? Personal, what's the name of this place for crying out loud? What is it? Personal Service Coffee here in beautiful Brantford, Ontario. Well, they know, but they're going to know coffee. Huh? I'm here with Joshua Wall, all right? He's worked here for a long time. How long have you worked here, Joshua? About a year now. You know a lot about coffee, huh? It's my thing. All right, Sideshow Bob, how many different types of coffee you got here? Oh, we got at least 400 plus. 400? Yeah, absolutely. You ready? You mark? Yeah. It's set, go. Name yeah. them. Go ahead. Colombian, Peruvian, Brazilian, Kenyan. Oh, God, let me get in the flavors. We got praline, uh, pecan praline. We got uh, chocolate fudge donut. We got banana foster. We got vanilla velvet. We got mint mocha. We got mocha java. We got cafe mocha. We got hot chocolates, cappuccino ciders, ice drinks. Oh God, the, the list just goes on and on. And that's not even counting decaf. Whoa, decaf. Yeah, decaf. Listen, I got a question about decaf. Okay. What's the point? Decaf is a little bit like washing your feet with your socks on. You know what I'm saying, Joshua? You know, I understand. Like, what's the point? To coffee. get the coffee, you don't get the eh. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee is very important to a lot of people. When you yeah. grow up on coffee, you mm. need to have an alternative sometimes. Well, you know? It's like kissing yeah. your sister. You know what I'm talking about? It's not, what are you going to do with that? Uh, it's, well, that it's not there, good. There's a, there's a running joke about decaf. Oh, there's oh, a time yeah. and place for decaf. Well, Gwen. That's never and in the garbage. That's spectacular. Oh. This guy knows what he's talking about. But plenty of people do like the decaf. Yeah, you know, you know, we, yeah, and you know what we call those people? What? Little girls. Oh, my God. That's what no, we call them. We, All we, right. Hey, Sideshow Bob, I thought you had a lot of coffee over there. Huh? But that's not, that's all the pre-made coffee. You do selection, hand Absolutely. select coffee. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this over here. Okay, so this is a full selection of coffee beans nice. that we get shipped in from all over the world. Look at this, from uh, wherever, Ethiopia, yeah, absolutely. Puerto Kenya, Rico, Brazil, this. Peru, Indonesia is nice. one of our favorite coffees. Well, this is expensive. We're Jamaican Blue Mountain, 60 bucks, of, your hair's in the way here, but yeah. 60 pounds, that was a pound. Yeah. Jamaican Blue Coffee, absolutely for that price, is it a full body coffee? Uh, you, you choose, we, we roast the coffee to this, your specifications. I hope this is full body. For this kind of money, I want a full body Jamaican chick to come to my house for a I'd pay oh 60 God. bucks a pound for that. Are you kidding yeah. me? But understand, this is not even the most expensive nope. coffee you got. The most What's expensive... the most expensive coffee? Go ahead, tell me. Well, about I brought it out just for you. What is it? It's called Coffee Luwak. Coffee Luwak. Coffee. Coffee. K O P I. That's what I said. Coffee Luwak. That's yeah. what I said. Okay. What is it? It's currently trading about $480 a pound. $480 uh, a pound? No, yeah. So Are we, you sure this do... doesn't come from Colombia? No. In the bottom of it? Okay. Tell me about so, this coffee lua. An animal called a wild civet eats oh, wow. the actual coffee. A wild civet is an animal. Civet. Yeah, it's like Describe a monkey it. slash cat creature. Really tiny. Little, like, my, like, like my junior prom. Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. So what happens to this creature? So Go ahead. It eats the actual coffee cherry. Eats the cherry coffee. And then it passes it. It means it goes... Yep. Nice. <laughs> then the farmer finds... It's you know, somebody's yeah, job yeah, to take out, uh, yeah. go through the beans and, and then, after it's yeah. through the cat and then they, they process it like normal process it like normal coffee. They dry they it, clean it. it. They clean it. They clean it. They sure, they, absolutely. <laughs> they clear, hopefully, they clean That's it. That's a lot of paper and, towels. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, then they serve it as coffee after it's, it's, it's been roasted. And how much is that? Uh, if four hundred eighty. Roughly, I mean, it changes every day, right? Because it's a commodity, but it's about 480 dollars. That was a pound. I got some here from we, right yeah, here. Yeah, we roasted some just for you. Well, makes you smell that. It's nice. Yeah, this was a. Okay, you know what it smells like? Yeah. It smells like coffee for kind yeah, of How much coffee. a pound for that? A four hundred dollars. Oh, jeez. Oh, and yeah, the greatest thing about this place, I tell you right now, is the people, the knowledgeable staff. We got Jessica. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Are you excited to be here on Giovanni and me and Rogers TV? Oh, yeah. And very excited. You know, oh, look yeah. at this. Disp what is this? What the heck is going on um, over here with this? Order? Here we have the Tarani syrups. More flavor. Yeah. More flavor. This is a syrup. Tell me about that. Go ahead. Well, they can be used for baking, for coffee, for ice cream. We have caramel, salted caramel, cherry, um, brown sugar. It's awesome, yeah. We got some more. What's this? Um, we have gingerbread, eggnog. Uh, Italian eggnog. Yeah. What's that? 
eggs that are in the mob? I don't understand. What's <laughs> Essentially, that? actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what else you got? Uh, we got Kahlua. We have uh, peanut butter. We have bacon, actually, as well. Bacon? Oh. Bacon. And you have my all-time favorite, coffee-flavored coffee syrup, huh? Yeah. That's been, look at this. Huh? That's from the redundancy department. This is, this is for people who like coffee, apparently, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. Ah, uh, so now first we pick the beans, but that's only part of the process. You actually custom roast them right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And the custom roaster machine. Mm, yeah, yeah that's the coffee roaster. The coffee roaster. Yeah. And I understand you got a client that's going to come by here yep, in about so. a half an hour, and you want to make sure he has his regular order. So yep. what are we roasting here? A uh, quarter pound of Ethiopian Yerga Shefi, which is absolutely one of my favorite coffees. Would you say it's bold, the full body? Yeah, it's a desert bean, so it, desert it, bean. it doesn't get a chance when it dries. It just dries in the hot desert sun. It becomes a very earthy, very full flavored, very robust. Be, no matter how you roast it. Tastes like oh. sand? No. no. It tastes like coffee. Like a coffee? A very, very full flavored coffee. coffee. I'm going to roast it to a medium roast so it's just perfect. Medium roast? Yep. And it'll be coffee flavored coffee, it'll right? Coffee -flavored All right, coffee. let's bring it over here. Yeah. No, I'm not falling for that one again. All right. <laughs> All right so. so it goes in a machine like this. Yep. Oh, this is nice. Now I just make sure my temperature's right. Now I've got this preset, so we're going to do 397. Yep. We're going to hit the run button. Hey, I'll let you do the run button. Hit the run button. Here we go. Press play. Ba hey. Oh, look at this. It's like a pot. It's like a popcorn machine. See, that's the number one comment we got. Popcorn. Look at that. How long does this take? It's gonna take ten to fifteen minutes. Ten to Maybe fifteen minutes. Like. That's unbelievable. And it's freshly roasted, and you and then you grind it. We're not finished. Then what do we do after that? We highly recommend to our customers that they grind their own coffee. When you grind the coffee, all the oils come out. So in order to get the best roast at home, you should invest in a coffee grinder. We will, of course, grind coffee for people but better for storage to keep it in whole bean form in a cool, dry place. Yeah. If it's ground, the oils come out. It... So Grind your own coffee, people. That's, That's all I'm saying. The guy knows. Uh, with that kind of hair, how much coffee you figure this guy drink today with a hair like that? Hey, man, I come in every day with straight hair. One of our coffees, and boom, That's like it. that. Yeah. I love this place. Yeah, I love this I place. I love this place, too. Ah, what a concept, what a show, what a place. I, it was all the time we got here for personal coffee services, personal service coffee, coffee for personal people. Personal service, service coffee. coffee. That's all the time we have. And I have to tell you, you guys have fun, huh? Absolutely. All right, bring it home. What are you going to say? This has been Sideshow Bob and Jessica on... Giovanni and me on Rogers TV. TV. Nice.